Time to get your fix. Come on down, get your Hello, my name is Zach Ryan with Old Man Gaming, and welcome back to another horrible game review. Um, so, before we get into it, as usual, uh, I want to do a couple of disclaimers. Number one, I do Snap Judgment reviews here. Uh, the word horrible in the title of this content does not necessarily refer to the game or DLC that I am reviewing, but much more the actual quality of this review itself. The Snap Judgment review implies that I only get about 5 to 10 hours with these games, and I'm trying to give you a first impression. I'm trying to give you uh, uh, an idea of whether you will have fun with this game right out of the gate, or whether you should just not even bother. Um, with that being said, I also do not give scored reviews. I think video games are one of the most subjective forms of art. So therefore, I will give you an overview of what the game is, the pros and the cons from my point of view, as all reviews are, and then I'll tell you whether I personally will be sticking with it past the purposes of this review itself. That being said, I'm having a little fun today. Since there's not a lot of big new releases, I've been going back to some older games or some more culty games and just trying to get a shot at, uh, you know, whatever, whatever I can do. And uh, with that said, I decided to go back to uh, Super Mario Party. Thanks to uh, Mario Day Special, uh, myself picked it up for Switch, and I have played it with my wife. I have also played it with a couple of friends, which you could check out Prelude to Divorce to see all the fun of that. And I've also been playing with my four-year-old daughter. Um, and I thought this would just be a fun thing to do a review of. So, uh, let's get into it. What's... Super Mario Party. Well, Super Mario Party is the 11th installment of the Mario Party series. Mario Party being basically a digital board game um, with Mario characters, both good and bad, that you can pick from. Um, you set a turn amount, and then you move around a board trying to collect stars. You collect money as you do so. Uh, the money is used to purchase the stars. Um, and then money is also how much you have as a degree of of seconder if you're tied on stars as to how much uh, whether you're in first or last after everybody goes each turn there's a mini game that allows you to win coins from other players and then there's just a num of number of crazy special events that happen on the board as you move around them anything from warp pipes to giant exploding bombs to uh, weird sparkler cakes that just give you stars so all sorts of random insanity stores where you can buy items uh, items that you can steal stuff from your friends and uh, yeah I mean that's the chaos that ensues here in Mario Party um, and it's a very interesting game in that way and now with Super Mario Party it is the switch version of the game so there is a lot of extra stuff to do I'm going to just go ahead and give you one more disclaimer I have not done a whole lot of this extra stuff uh, I've stuck mainly to the Mario Party stuff but there's like a river rafting mini game and an online mini game thing and then an extra mini game section and then a musical mini game section and then a lot of a lot of crazy unlockable modes and whatnot um, just from playing in game to start they give you a <laughs> they give you a sorry for the my phone going off noises I forgot to silent it before I started this recording uh, they give you a myriad of uh, uh, maps three to start there's also I believe two unlockables or just one I'm not sure um, but I have not been able to unlock that yet there's also quite a few characters and what's interesting about this Mario Party that some of the other ones don't have is each one of the characters has a special die so in this game they roll 1d6 uh, or you can roll their special die which is a d6 but a different numbered variation so example Wario can roll the 1 through 6 die normal, or they, he can also roll a 6 sided dice, but 4 of the sides are 6's, and then 2 of the sides are lose 3 coins. Um, then all of the characters have a different variation on this die. You can also collect allies, which I don't know if this is unique to this Mario Party or earlier ones. Now, I haven't played any Mario Parties but this one, but I have watched a lot of online footage of Mario Parties. Um, but you can collect allies, which allow you to also use their custom dice blocks, which gives you more versatility in the moment. Uh, they also give you little extra bonus rolls uh, every time you roll. 
And then finally, once the game ends at the predetermined turn limit, uh, your stars are counted up. You're also given some random bonus stars, uh, which can definitely make it feel like the game's trying to kick you in, uh, kick you while you're down. Um, but some ran two random bonus stars that can help decide the game. And then, uh, yeah, whoever has the most stars slash coins at the end is the winner. I mean, that's it. That's all there is to it. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump into pros and cons here. So, pros. Okay, well, first of all, my biggest pro on this is I have actually been playing this with my four-year-old daughter. And now, while many of the mini games are lost on her, uh, she just can't understand it because it's a timing game or it's an aiming game and she doesn't get it, the actual game itself... Uh, does something that all games for four-year-olds need to do if they want to get those four-year-olds is which is one simple button prompt with one simple movement prompt so like she can very simply press a press a die press the button to roll the dice or move the controller to roll the dice and she can see something happen on screen there's no weird timing game for that and there's no weird trying to figure out how to catch the bugs with the net sort of situation. Uh, and with that in mind, she actually sticks with this a little bit longer than she sticks with a lot of other games and has more success with it. I mean, a lot of it is just dumb luck, but she can still, she knows when it's her turn. She knows how to roll the dice. She knows how to select between the two dices. Um, and she knows how to... Uh, uh, pick which way to go because it's all very simple um granted she doesn't always think she moves through and stuff like that but still it's it's a nice introduction for that i've been i've got to give a pro to that because there are so very few games especially now that she's so more interest in the video games i've been having a very hard time finding games that she can actually really get into without getting super frustrated in and i found that this is one uh, my next pro is this is fun for anybody to play like it really is like you can just jump in with anybody you know and it's relatively simple and straightforward I, I enjoy that um, I enjoy that it's it's nice and easy something for me and the wife to do I enjoy it's something nice to play with other friends when they come over because even if your friends aren't gamers this is a very simple thing to understand and get and it actually kind of feels more like a living board game than anything else so it's very enjoyable in that w regard uh, my my third probably final pro is uh, the custom dice blocks in this um, like I said I have not played previous Mario parties I've watched a lot of them because I, I am a religious watcher of game grumps so and they've played like all the Mario parties um, but it doesn't mean I haven't missed something here and there so if they've been in a previous game I apologize to make it sound like it's something new but I love it in this one it's really nice it's really cool it, it adds this layer of strategy it's making me want to play with all the characters just to see what they have so that i can figure out what the fa my favorite custom dice block is and and i just i just enjoy that aspect of the characters are more than just a different piece on the board they actually have a strategy to it and you can actually almost have a play style with it it's a very simple albeit a simple play style but still a play style and i find that very enjoyable all right, so I lied. One final pro, and that is the condensed version of this. So one thing about Mario Party, and I know that this is true, is that they could be huge, epic things that would just go on and on for 25 turns for hours on end. Um, the boards were always massive and huge. Uh, it was very easy to miss stuff. It was very easy to get lost, not really know where you're going. It was They were, they were kind of like... Uh, I don't know, almost too much for what they needed to be. Uh, Super Mario Party does a great job of condensing everything while still getting the core feeling. The boards are smaller, uh, you move around it quicker. Uh, instead of 2d6, you're rolling just a d, or I think it's 1 through 12 or 1 through 10 was the previous games. You're, you're just rolling a d6, 1 through 6, uh, with the custom dice blocks, of course. Um, and it's just, I don't know. It, the stars are quicker, they're easier 60 minute games. It's just much more enjoyable as a whole for me in that quicker chunk, you know? The smallest game is a 60 minute game, it's one hour. It's it's just the right amount of Mario Party in my opinion before people would get sick of it or really start to get in fights. All right, so let's move into cons real quick. Cons, okay. First of all, my biggest con, um, and I don't know that other people will agree with this, but uh, 
I feel like this game is overstuffed with with stuff in the wrong places. So there's a ton of stuff to unlock in this game. There's like I think two or four extra characters that you can do stuff to unlock to play with. Uh, there's also like different playrooms that if you play enough, you can you can unlock them because like you go into this like party plaza place where where you pick your game that you're playing. Um, but there's there's pipes that you can warp into that give you new things and and you unlock these things as you go along. Here's my problem with this. All these extra games, like, who who wants to play those? I, I don't want to play those. I think they're silly, and I don't understand why they're in there. There's so many extra, like, there's a river rafting one, and a sound thing one, and a, a mini game one, and really, what I would have rather they did is just take all that data and add it into more boards and more characters to unlock. Even if they're unlockable, that's fine. Just, that's the kind of stuff, like, I mean, you play this game to play the Mario Party, that's where the genius of this game is so i feel like it's it's overstuffed with accoutrement that isn't really necessary and isn't something you're really gonna enjoy that often i mean even if you like it you're gonna play it once but when you go back to this game you're gonna be going back to it for the mario party that's what you're gonna be going back to it for and from what i can tell there's only one extra map to unlock and four extra characters to unlock so i feel like that's a little bit of a missed uh, missed spot there like there's all these extra things that you don't need uh, whereas we'd much rather the extra things be put into extra things for just the initial game itself so I think that's my biggest pro con with this game um, is that I feel like there's just all these options that I could care less about and not as much stuff actually put into what this game is supposed to be which is Mario Party uh, my next con is the fact that you have to play it with the Joy-Cons. Now, I might be wrong in this, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. Uh, you can't actually play this with a controller. Every player has to play with a half a Joy-Con on, which at first you're like, well, that's cool because every Switch comes with two Joy-Cons, but to buy a set of Joy-Cons, it's like 70, 80 bucks. It's huge, so nobody's going to have four of these things laying down around. Most likely, you're going to have a second full controller uh, that's like you know 20 or 30 dollars which is what you know we have and we can't play with that so we can't play three player on it with stella because you can't play with a controller you have to play with one of the joy cons i i don't like that i don't like that i feel like it narrows it and i feel like in a way it's kind of a cash grab and the reason for that is is that the controller still has motion controls like a lot of the things that they speculate on these mini games are like well it's it's a motion control you have to turn the control this way and you have to turn the control you can do that with a normal switch controller uh, so I feel like that's kind of a cop-out I feel like this is a way to make people buy two more joy cons when they don't really need to and I don't like that it definitely made me feel a little dirty all right, so let's wrap up. Whether or not I'm going to stick with it, definitely I'm going to stick with it. I really enjoy playing this. I enjoy the fact that it's nice and simple. It's nice and relaxing that me and my wife can play together. It's nice that Stella can actually get into it and play it. Even if she gets bored halfway through the game, it's still something that we can do that I don't necessarily have to hold her hand through the whole thing. Uh, so it's really nice. I, I really enjoy it. And honestly, anybody out there who has a Switch and wants a good party game, this is a great party game. It, it is. I, is it worth the full $60? I mean, again, I bought it on sale. I don't know. But I will say you, you're definitely going to get your worth out of it even if you play it with whoever comes over because anybody can get into this. And it's, it's one of the things that Nintendo does best, this game does, which is just make it really accessible to anybody who's playing. Uh, it's very simple to understand. It's just Mario, the board game, basically. And it's it, very straightforward and, and gets you right in. It's real nice that way. So... There you guys have it. Hope you guys enjoyed this review. Uh, I think next week I'm going to try to do Just uh, Don't Starve. I'm not sure if I can or not, but I'm going to try. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, as usual, you can reach us on Facebook at Old Man Gaming DH, on Twitter at Old Man Gaming 9. You can join our Discord. The link is in the description below. You can influence this and all of our shows from there. And as long as you guys keep watching and listening, we'll keep making them. See you guys next week.